Hi, and welcome along for one of the final reviews for 2023, completing the series of videos for National Rose Month that was supposed to be finished back in June. I have a climbing rose to bring you today from David Austin Roses, which I've been really excited to bring you. One that used very, very heavily in all of the David Austin floral displays I've seen, alongside its sister rose, the Pilgrim. This beautiful climbing rose is James Galway and a really really interesting rose it is too. This is a small English climbing rose reaching between 10 and 12 feet which means for most domestic gardens here in the UK it's the absolute perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small but it does reach its full size really very quickly and flowers all the way from the base all the way up through the plants to the very very top much like the Pilgrim launched at a very similar time. James Galway is a really healthy and very vigorous climbing rose. I say reaching around 12 feet, it gets there nice and quickly. So if you're a little on the impatient side and want that final product very quickly, James Galway may be the rose for you. Right, let's get into this one for you. Say so launched and introduced in 2000 and uh, 2000 and named after the famous flutist. Uh, it is a true pink rose with the most exquisite characteristics. The flowers open very much like the Pilgrim, completely and utterly flat. These ones have a little way to go, but you will have this lovely disc effect across the top with the petals very, very gently curling back towards the stem. And as it gets to that stage, as the bloom is final in its final throes and is fully open, you'll get this wonderful bleached edged halo around the outside, giving a really, really lovely depth of color in the very middle, eccentricated by the actual shape of the petals themselves. If you can see from that, if I rotate that for the camera, very, very serrated across the edges, almost like tissue papers being crumpled up, giving you lots and lots of texture and lots of interest, a really, really very, very pretty rose, very dainty. Now, say so you can see why David Austin always favour this in their displays at, for instance, Chelsea and Hampton Court always working very, very hard. This particular rose, because it doesn't get too large, I say reaching around 10 to 12 feet in height, is absolutely perfect for growing up the front of your house, maybe on a pillar or a post or the side of a pergola or up the side of an arch where it can be really quite manageable. It has a very varied thorn count. The one I have in front of me has very, very small thorns indeed. In fact, they're very, very tiny. They're not particularly sharp and they knock off very, very easily, meaning it's absolutely perfect for, for growing in a high traffic area where there might be people to and fro with clothing or bags that might get caught on it. So a really useful rose for planting in those particular areas. The buds are a really lovely deep red scarlet colour with a lovely apricot flash up the side of them just before they break. The foliage, very similar to that of Mary Delaney, very deep, very dark green, all on, almost with an olive gunmetal texture to them, a little bit on the grey side as well. There is a small amount of barbing up the backs of the leaves, but that's normal when you have a rose with a decent fragrance. So it's a really lovely colour combination. Nice thing with this one as well, much with the uh, lots of the other new additions that are coming, you've got the full package there. You've got not only a really interesting coloured foliage, Foliage, the lovely dark colouring up the back of the stem, a red tinge to the back of the stem and along the leaf axis itself and then the beautiful colour of the flower all bring James Galway together in a really really good package. Add that to its vigour, it's free flowering nature. This rose is going to flower all the way through the summer, uh, which is why they use it so heavily in their displays and the fragrance and you've got yourself a winning package. James Galway has a really interesting rose smell. And I have never described a rose like this before. The fragrance is really strong and we'll get to the fragrance rating first. I'm going to rate this exactly the same as I do with the Pilgrim. It's a very, very solid five moving on to a six star out of the 10 star rating I do for fragrance. It's the notes on this one which are really interesting for me. Never before have I smelled an, a rose with an old English uh, uh, scent to it. Uh, so a very, very floral and very heavy and musky on the smell. 
and then there's a back edge of clean linen, which is really, really very strange. You normally only get that with the hybrid tees uh, and the uh, the floor abundas, that really, really clean citrus edge. So a real mixture of fragrances coming together in great in James Galway, making it the most interesting fragrance. Actually, I confess when I first first sniffed this one and picked it in, brought it in to the house for today's review, it really did take me back. I mean, I've smelt the rose before, but I'm surrounded by other roses, but. As I say, old English uh, fragrance with that lovely, lovely uh, fresh linen right at the back of it, giving it a really clean and very, very lovely edge to get all together. James Galway really is a cracking climbing rose. And one, if you are looking for that beautiful, soft, pale pink, maybe you have uh, a white or cream rendered house. Maybe you have something that looks quite modern and you want to add this really, really lovely old English cottage style to it. James Galway has that lovely bleaching. And I've talked about this on many different roses before. Everything from Benjamin Britten to Crown Princess Margarita, which has this blushing and now seen in new editions uh, in the collections, for instance, like Pele Penelope Lively, that has this ble beautiful bleaching to the outer edge of the flower, giving it a really lovely aged antiquing look. And I think a characteristic that I think we're gonna really enjoy a lot more as our summers warm up and our days get hotter and hotter, uh, these edges are gonna take a little bit more heat and they're gonna be a little bit more informal than the, maybe the perfect classic rose that we might be a little bit more used Useful. But this is James Galway, English Climbing Rose from David Austin Roses, with me getting a really decent five-star fragrance rating, reaching around 12 feet tall. It's a perfect climber for getting established and growing well in partial shade and in full sun.